Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, it is almost Christmas and I am very, very excited for today's video. I filmed bits and pieces throughout this past week, uh, like I often do, but it's extra special because this video is, it's how I'm going to show you how I, I pull together some Christmas moments, winter moments, festive decor without really spending anything at all. Uh, whether you don't have a budget for it or didn't have the time for it, don't have the drive for it or some other reason altogether, uh, there's still ways that you can make special moments and Christmassy or holiday feeling moments in your space, in your home. And you don't have to spend any or very little, if any, money to do so. You know, I find that I enjoy so much. This is this is now the second, definitely the second, maybe the third year that I've done this, where I just, I shopped my home. <laughs> I shopped my closets, uh, in one case, even my car, and I found things that uh, otherwise I would not have really thought of using. And I just basically turned these everyday items into special moments or perhaps i just set things up in a special way anything that i'll be using in the way of lights fairy lights uh, a few other little christmas bits are things that i already had on hand or that i purchased for no more than like a dollar or two just at the dollar store here let's start out with a christmas tree last year i got my first christmas tree as in on my own. Of course, we always had Christmas trees in the house where I grew up, but last year was the first time that I actually went out and got my own Christmas tree. And it was this sweet three foot tree uh, and it was perfect. It was, it was more than enough. But this year I didn't even wanna spend that kind of money because Christmas trees are really expensive. And unfortunately I wasn't uh, in the countryside within the last week or so in order to be able to get my own tree, cut down my own tree. So I was initially not going to have a Christmas tree. And I'm like, that's fine. I don't, I don't need it. It's still Christmas even without the tree. But I happened to be walking through Whole Foods one day and I noticed they were selling Christmas trees. I wasn't looking to buy a Christmas tree, but because they're pretty, I just happened to be glancing at them. And then I noticed that they had rosemary bushes, rosemary bushes, like actual good sized bushes. I thought a rosemary tree is perfect. It's tiny and quaint. It's only about a foot tall. I can decorate it and then after Christmas, I can eat it. <laughs> I can literally just wash it down and use it in my food. Uh, it should last for a while. It should have a decent shelf life according to my mother. So I will be keeping it uh, in the window during the daytime so it gets some sun, giving it enough water. And in the evenings I place it somewhere else around my home so that uh, I can have the lights on and just, you know, enjoy it. Uh, and that that's the closest I'm getting to a Christmas tree this year. And I think it's perfect. <laughs>
inch shelf and I uh, it's actually you can see it's quite nice you would hang it right like that somewhere but I've had this shelf since the summertime I want to say July and uh, one of my sisters gave it to me and I it's just sat in my car it sat in it sat in the trunk of my car all these months um, because I had a makeover I was going to do with it and then I got postponed and I just forgot it in there so as I was looking around for things to use I I just saw it in the trunk the other day and I said you know what if I turn it around I could make it like some kind of makeshift sleigh of some sort I don't know um, so I'm going to I think just place it here and then decorate it with a few other little things that I have this garland which is from last year as well uh, I had this on hand I think I purchased this at um, Dollar General uh, for like two or three dollars last year so I'm going to use that and then I have these and then I have these uh, the kind of star yeah star twinkle lights star fairy lights and um, these will work as well I've this is also something I've had for the last maybe two years I think I've had these for about two years now uh, and I just replaced the batteries and they light up and so I want to see what I can do with these on here and hopefully it looks somewhat like a sled was leaning up on the wall or even if it doesn't, even if it looks exactly like just what it is, I'm okay with that too. I think it's going to be fine. I want to show you this this piece here I, I draped it in here just to look like I don't know a, a knit blanket or something crochet I don't know what this is I don't, I don't know too much crafty things but I, I draped it in here to add a little something but the thing is I don't I didn't have any more throw blankets I, I have a few that I have other places and so this is actually uh, a summer cardigan of sorts kind of like what I'm wearing now uh, but obviously it's a lot of holes in it and it's sleeveless as well because it's, it's meant for summer. So uh, I haven't been using it. I don't intend to use it for at least a few more months. So I draped it in here in this basket along with the pillow here. Just again, a little something, a moment. And I think it's very sweet the way it's all come together. It's very different, but this, this is my style doing these types of things. The challenge, I really like the challenge. Uh, I had this Pussy Willow on hand for, I think I got it two springs ago. So I think, I don't, I've had it at least a year and a half, maybe two years. Uh, and I have some of it in other areas. I just repurpose where I'm placing this beautiful, beautiful um, twigs of sorts. It just really all came together. These various bits, I had everything already all of this and I just picked from different places I found that I had these in my home and it's super cute it came together really well also this this lovely cup here one of my sisters gifted that to me as well and right now it just worked as the perfect vase it's not a vase it's 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 a little goblet but it works for this for this situation and yeah I think it came out really well very cute.
The wreath itself didn't cost me more than $5 because uh, the wreath was gifted to me. I already had the spray paint on hand and so I just had to get those little bits to kind of zhuzh it up and I got them all at the dollar store. So um, yeah, it was, it was super simple and yet I think it came out so whimsical and classy chic. Yeah, I think it came out pretty well. In my reading nook on my day bed, I simply put uh, a, a dish, like a, um, a pedestal dish with some cookies on it there next to a vase of flowers, uh, dried flowers. And it's, it's, just, it's just these two things that I added. And along with the pillows and the throw blanket, it's, in, it's extra inviting now. Like I want to look at it and I want to go in and sit down with a book and read and rest. So let's quickly address the wall behind me. This is the wall that my sofa is on and up behind it, it, it was just a little bit bland. Um, I have these lovely shelves on one side and then on the other side I have a lot of uh, plants, a lot of greenery, but the in-between area was just, it's like there was just really nothing going on. And I wanted to add a little something, not holiday per se, but um, something that would fill that space without being overbearing and these beautiful white roses flowers white flowers they're not painted i don't know if it's a type of plaster but these were gifted to me back in july and they've been sitting on the floor beside the sofa all these months so again it was another piece i already had it's not something i would have maybe sought out to place on that wall, but because I already had it, I put them up there and I think that they look really lovely, really sweet. They're very uh, like winterish feeling because I think of the color and yeah, it definitely works. I'm going to leave it there for some time. I didn't have garland. I've actually never had my own festive garland, but what I did have on hand was paper, is paper. And I even thought about going thrifting uh, for some old books and perhaps turning them into a paper garland. But again, I really want to challenge myself to not spend any money at all or very, very little. So I took the paper I already had and I shifted the way it looks a little bit simply using tea and coffee and it's a little rusticy, and I don't know if you would call it vintage looking, but it looks like it could have been old paper and I like it. It's not like, it's not colorful, it's not lit up, but it 
does give that bit of something and I think is all I need. So I really think everything came out so lovely and quaint and different. I, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I do, I didn't feel like it wouldn't be Christmassy if I didn't have this stuff. I'm always keeping in mind, reminding myself what the season's really about. Um, but, but they're nice to have. And because again, they're very wintry, more wintry than Christmas per se, I'll probably leave them up for quite some time. So I hope this was helpful to you, uh, whether just enjoyable to watch or perhaps give you some inspiration, some ideas, some thoughts of how you can add some wintry moments to your home as well, because winter literally just started and we have a good two to three months of it still. So uh, these types of things to kind of come home to and. Uh, enjoy seeing um, yeah they make they make at least for me they make winter a little bit more enjoyable in the evenings when I've come home from a busy day around the city it's nice to have this different moments of like cozy spaces where I can just turn the lights down and sit with a tea and a book and, or a prayer uh, or just watch something or call my mom or another loved one uh, to just just making it beautiful and slow and cozy inside. And so I wish you a very merry-filled and joy-filled and blessed Christmas, a calm Christmas in your mind, in your heart, even if it's busy all around. Uh, I hope that we will all really keep in mind Jesus Christ, the reason that we have this special time every year, the true reason for it, um, that we actually had a redeemer that we have a redeemer a god that loves us and cares for us so much to come and be with us here to dwell with us in this earth uh, that's a very exciting thing i hope the best for you always i hope to be back with another video very soon and until then merry christmas <laughs>